It's going much better now that we're past the, the butt of the log and I'm able to roll them off and start splitting them. And using the chip technique, you have to chip off the edges and then sometimes they fly pretty good. But when you're coming down, you give it just a slight twist to push it out. And it's got some beautiful looking lumber, it would be, but we're not gonna put it into lumber. We'll talk about that in one video. It's really cool. Got some deep red. I don't know if it would stay that red when it's dry. I'm not sure. I'm thinking no, but maybe. Maybe it is towards the center of it. But it's got some wave to it, which is not surprising because this whole log twists a lot. So it's going good, taking a break. I didn't wear gloves yesterday and I'm starting to get blisters, so I'm wearing them today. And so I think it's time to pick this up, move it over to the window, and then from there I just go inside and pile it up. So it's pretty convenient. Okay, let's get going. There is beautiful looking stuff though. So the question is, is if I get a longer blade or bar, can we take some slices off for tabletops? And that's what we're going to try later, I think. See how we can do on them and how stable they are.